Hi, my name is Bobby. I'm gonna be your nurse today. <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing an assessment from head to toe on you. So I'm gonna be uh, touching around a couple different places and I'm gonna be listening to you. So uh, at any time during the assessment, if you have any questions, don't be scared to ask, okay? Okay. Okay, can I start off by asking you, what's your name? Sarah. Okay, Sarah, uh, how old are you? I'm 22. Okay, Sarah, do you know who the president is? Uh, Joe Biden. Okay, uh, do you have access to three meals a day? Yes, sir. Okay, you do. So I can actually see that you're nice and clean, and that uh, and you have good breath. So it doesn't seem like you have any problems with personal hygiene. Okay, and uh, I also see that you have good posture, and uh, which is good. And then uh, I noticed whenever you walked in today, uh, you have good gait, and uh, you didn't have any assisted devices with you. But do you use any? No, sir. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what mood are you in right now? I'm good. You're in a good mood. Okay. Uh, what's your first language by chance? English. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, I can tell that uh, your BMI is good. It's uh, what it should be for your height to weight ratio. Okay. So, thank you. So, today I'm going to do a report on a 22 year old female that came in for a head to toe assessment. Um, we started off with her stating her age, which is 22 years old. She was alert and oriented times three. Um, she had a good nutritional status and she stated that she had access to three meals per day. Uh, we moved to her BMI, which was appropriate for her height and weight. Um, as she walked in, I noticed that she had good gait and mobility and she didn't use any, uh, devices to assist in that. Uh, there was no physical dramality, deformalities or abnormalities, um, she has good posture when standing upright. Uh, she stated that she was in a good mood today and her speech uh, was clear uh, in her first language is English. Then uh, after that we moved to the assessment uh, of the skin. Uh, the skin was nice and clean. Uh, she had good hair distribution. Uh, color was appropriate for her ethnicity. Uh, it was warm and dry to touch. Uh, her hands were nice and clean. Uh, then after that, uh, we checked her nails. Her nail beds were nice and clean, and her cap refill was less than two seconds. We moved to her peripheral pulses and palpated those. Uh, the brachial and radial were both palpable. Uh, I moved to the, her head after that and checked her scalp. It was nice and clean. Uh, there was no infestations, redness, or irritation noted. Uh, there was no dandruff. Her hair was uh, blonde and clean. She did not have any tenderness to the palpations. Uh, there was no lumps, bumps, or bruises noted. Um, after that, we moved down to her face. It was nice and symmetrical. Cranial nerves 1 through 12 were assessed, and they were all intact. Now the temporal artery was palpated. There was no thrills noted. The not tenderness to the frontal and maxillary sinus. Um, then after that, uh, we moved to her neck. Uh, it was negative for <clears throat> any pulsations. There was no lumps, bumps, or bruises. Not tenderness to palpation uh, to the trachea or to the neck. All lymph nodes were palpated with tenderness or without swelling or enlargement. Uh, I assessed her carotid artery arteries uh she did not tenderness to palpation uh, they were both palpated one at a time and they were both auscultated without murmurs and thrills uh, i also checked cranial nerve number 11 which is uh, her range of motion and uh, her muscle strength in her neck and she had full range of motion in her neck then after that i moved to her eyes uh, her external structures were clear without irritation. Eyebrows and eyelids, eyelashes, and conjunctiva <coughs> are all nice. Um, then after that, uh, we checked her conjunctiva, which was nice and pink. Uh, the pupils were react, <coughs> both reacted to light, and they were both equal. Uh, then after that, we moved to her ears. The external ears uh, were nice and clean. And without any drainage or irritation, she denied tenderness to, to palpations. <clears throat> After that, uh, we moved 
uh, we assessed her nose, which is nice and midline. She had good patency, uh, bilateral. Uh, there's no drainage noted on her nose, and the outside of the nose uh, was uh, there was no irritation or anything. Her mucosa was nice and pink, and her septum wasn't deviated. Uh, and after that, I assessed her lips. There's no cracking or dryness. Um, there's no irritation noted. Uh, her mucosa, teeth, and gums, uh, hard and soft palate, and tonsils were all moist and pink. They're without uh, extra date. Thyroid was palpated, non tender, and <clears throat> wasn't enlarged. And after that, we moved to the uh, lungs. They're inspected posterior uh, the AP to T diameter uh, the scapula was nice and midline or the scapula and spine was nice and midline uh, anterior inspection uh, with use of no accessory muscles and respirations were unlabored uh, and were right at 15 also I checked our CVA tenderness which when I was uh, in the posterior checking her posterior <clears throat> and she denied tenderness to that as well. Uh, then after that, we uh, assessed the heart sounds, sitting and lying. Uh, there was no mur mur murmurs or thrills noted. S1 and S2 were heard. Uh, she had a normal heart rate <clears throat> and regular rhythm. Uh... Then, after, then uh, while we're doing that, we assess the apical pulse, which was uh, palpated at the fifth intercostal space, left side of the mitral valve on the abdomen. It was uh, her abdomen was inspected at uh, eye level with good contour. It was nice and flat. The color was appropriate for her race. There was no scars or striae noted. Uh, there was no visible peristalsis. Uh, the umbilicus was nice and midline. Um, then we assessed her uh, bowel sounds. It was uh, present in all four quadrants. Um, uh, percussion in all lobes were negative. The light in, or yeah, the <clears throat> percussion was negative to all lobes. And then we did light and deep palpations uh, through the lower lobes. Uh, the extremities of the skin uh, were on the lower the, then we assessed the lower extremities uh, the skin had good hair distribution uh, the color was appropriate for ethnicity there was no edema or varicose veins noted um, we assessed um, all the pulses We assessed the uh, femoral pulse, popliteal, tibial, posterior tibial, uh, dorsal pedalis <clears throat> were all palpated. Uh, she had full range of motion in <clears throat> both upper and lower extremities. Uh, good muscle strength in upper and lower extremities uh, and good hand grip. Hilda shin test was negative. Patella reflex was positive at A1 plus and negative for scoliosis.